Hey everyone, Vernon Wall here, he, him pronouns. I am currently your ACPA immediate past president. And in that role, I serve as chair of the nominations and elections committee. What we've asked is for each member of the governing board whose position is available and will be slated um, in fall of 2021 to take a few moments and share a little bit about their perspective on their positions. Hi, CPA friends. My name is Dr. Dre Domain. My pronouns are she and her, and I'm currently your vice president. This is a really exciting time to consider joining our governing board, particularly the vice president role. The top three reasons why I love being your vice president is first and foremost, members and our leaders. I have really thoroughly enjoyed hearing your stories, hearing about your work on your campuses, and finding ways through our association to support the work that you all do on a daily basis. The second reason why I love being your vice president is that this is a really exciting time as we approach our 100 year celebration to reflect on what we've done so far and to begin to build and envision a, the future of not only higher education, but ACPA. And last but not least, um, I really love being your vice president and our commitment to social justice, equity, and our strategic imperative for social justice decolonization. I loved hearing how everybody has so far applied the guiding document and seeing the ways that we are able to respond to our emerging needs as a larger association. If you have further questions, I'm happy to chat with you about the vice president role and do hope that you consider this. Hi. My name is Jonathan McGeldery. I use he, him, his pronouns, and I serve as a director for equity and inclusion. In this role, you serve as the affirmative action officer for the governing board, facilitate the bias incident process, as well as work to scan the larger environment around issues of equity and inclusion and how they impact higher education, the association, and our members. Some tangible things happening in this role is being able to work with the newly selected equity and inclusion advisory board and actually operationalizing some of the goals we've set for to move the association forward. Some things that you can look forward to is working with a dynamic group of professionals on the governing board and entity leaders throughout the association and ultimately working to give back to an association that has given so much to us. Hi, ACPA. My name is Jim Breslin. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I currently serve as your Director of Professional Development on the ACPA Governing Board. I'm excited that you're thinking about nominating yourself or a colleague for a role on the board, and hopefully you're considering a Director of Professional Development. I can tell you that some of the, the joy that I have found from this work uh, in my time on the board is really getting to understand our ACPA members and their needs by working with colleagues across the assembly and the different entity groups and the convention team in the international office and all of our members to, un to better align what we're doing around professional development with our members evolving needs, with the strategic imperative on racial justice and decolonization, and with our professional competencies. The joy in the work for me comes from making all these great connections and, and having this more holistic understanding of our needs as a field and an association and finding ways to bring people and needs and resources together to best serve our association and our people and thereby our students. Uh, ultimately, for me, the work around leadership on the ACPA governing board and in, in this role as director of professional development has supported me in, in affirming my commitment to the strategic imperative on racial justice and decolonization, and in doing that by falling more deeply in love with the work that we do, both in, in higher education and at my own institution, but also in our association that's home for so many of us. So I hope you'll consider nominating yourself and lots of colleagues for, for leadership roles in ACPA. I'm always happy to reach out and connect if anyone would like to discuss the particulars of becoming Director of Professional Development. Hello, my name is Leticia Yarbrough, and I am the entry level member at large for ACPA. So ACPA's member at large position is a three year commitment. The first year you have an opportunity to learn your responsibilities as a fiduciary, that you are upholding the mission, vision, and the values and the strategic imperative for racial justice and decolonization within your three years. Your first year, you don't have an ability to vote, but you do have the ability to add to the discussions in the meetings, um, really ask thoughtful questions, and really learn your responsibilities in your second and third year. I'm super excited about coming into this opening of 2022 um, and also going into our 100 year anniversary as we become 100 years of ACPA. I'm Shona Patterson Stevens, she, her, hers. 
and I'm proud to serve as the current member at large senior level for ACPA. Um, I'm very excited to talk to you today about some of the things that we've been um, working on within ACPA's governing board uh, within my role specifically. Um, first, I would just like to highlight that some of the things that we do um, I do specifically is serving on um, additional committees to make sure that we're moving forward in, in the ways that we need to with regard to our operations and procedures. Uh, I currently serve on the bylaws committee, for example, um, which has been actually really invigorating because we get to look at in a, with a fine tooth comb on some of the ways that we are operating um, as an organization. Um, so I'm I'm happy to be able to contribute to some of the ways that we're documenting our standard operating procedures and the ways that we go about updating our bylaws. Um, currently, some things that I'm working on um, is also working to ensure that I'm identifying and addressing the needs of senior level administrators within uh, higher education at large. Um, so something that I'm building uh, in concert with colleagues uh, throughout the governing board as well as throughout the association um, is a, a bilateral program, the established executive level administrative program, as well as the early career executive level administrative program. And this is an effort to bring together um, some of our needs to continue to think about engagement and development at, senior, at the senior level um, amongst officers who are current members within ACPA um, to offer us opportunities to engage in mentorship, um, to continue to uh, further emphasize the different skill sets we are required to, to utilize and to um, transactionally utilize uh, on our campuses, as well as ensuring that uh, we are um, thinking uh, outside the box and thinking about next steps for what these roles will be required to take on um, and to uh, develop on respective campuses in the next 10, 15, 20 years. So we're thinking about the, the needs in the now, but we're also thinking about the needs of the future. And so hopefully if you're in, interested in this position, um, we can connect and talk more in depth about some of the ways that we're trying to be intentional in providing a full um, holistic experience uh, that wraps around the needs of senior level administrators within ACPA. Hi, my name is Dr. Victoria Melaney Brown and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. I am here in my role as the Assembly Coordinator for Coalition Networks today to help hopefully encourage you and recruit you to apply for the newest Assembly Coordinator elect. Um, some important tips to keep in mind to, in order to apply for this opening role is you have to have been in a chair of one of the coalition networks. Um, and you also need to have a really good understanding of how the coalition networks work and operate and provide voice to the governing board, which is something that I have learned a lot in my previous role when I was on uh, the multiracial network um, as the chair. Um, one of the bigger things that I think are important to keep in mind is that you uh, use your uh, knowledge and understanding of how all of the coalition and network groups work together, um, also understanding both their challenges that they share and also some of the successes. Um, we get to help plan a lot of different important events for convention. Um, and we have a really great connection and tie into the strategic imperative for racial justice. Um, so to be the next assembly coordinator um, elect, uh, those are some of the things you'd want to keep in mind. Um, you also help assist in a variety of ways with the uh, awards committee. Um, you participate in multiple meetings with the governing board with the assembly, um, as well as different ad hoc committees. Um, you're able to recommend policy and practice changes with the association and um, casting a vote, which really helps um, shape the policy and work of the association. Um, I really encourage you to consider applying and I'm here to answer any and all questions as ideally we'd be working together um, in the upcoming year. Um, so I really encourage you to consider applying for the, for the role and reach out if you should need anything. I hope to see your application. Thank you. Hey there, my name is Nick Tapia Fusile, he and his pronouns, and I currently serve as the Assembly Coordinator for Communities of Practice on the ACPA Governing Board. 
Part of my responsibilities in this role is to provide strategic support for our communities of practice so that they continue to do the great work that they do to support their members. Um, it's also to imagine the ways in which communities of practice fit in into the larger mission and vision of the association. There are lots of exciting things always happening in our communities of practice space. One of them is this year we were excited to welcome the senior level community of practice into the assembly. This is formerly known as the Commission for Administrative Leadership. But they are now serving uh, as the senior level community of practice, uh, a great source of support and resources for the senior level members of our association. If you're interested in learning more about the Assembly Coordinator for Community of Practice Roles, I encourage you to look at the position description or feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to chat. I am Joy Cox. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I serve as the ACPA Assembly Coordinator for International Divisions and Membership. As Assembly Coordinator, you are the liaison between ACPA and CTLPA. As such, you represent CTLPA in the planning, implementation, and assessment of assembly activities and the association's strategic plan. You provide CTLPA's voice, their input, and perspectives to ACPA. One of the projects that we are working on for next summer that I'm really excited about is participating in the ACPA's professional development opportunities in collaboration with the Global Design Commission. Our plan is to develop an academic advising institute. So this is your opportunity to get involved with ACPA at the professional level and work with a group of knowledgeable leaders. We are going to boldly transform tertiary level education in the Caribbean. Greetings, ACPA. My name is Nicole Whitner, and I use she her pronouns. Currently, I serve as the assembly coordinator for state and regional chapters. What that means is my role is in direct service and support to the chapter leaders who are providing both leadership and professional development opportunities to our members on the local level. I'm also a voice for these leaders on the assembly and the governing board. As a past president of the California chapter of ACPA, when I stepped into the role, I was excited to bring my experiences and my perspective to this position in direct support of the chapter leaders. If you've ever been in the position of leading one of our local chapters, you're uniquely aware and thus uniquely qualified for this role. So if you're interested, I hope you will consider running or nominating an eligible colleague for this position. If you have any questions about the process or the role, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. Now that you've heard from our wonderful, amazing colleagues in positions that will be elected um, in the fall of 2021, um, we'd love for you to engage each other and talk about individuals who would be wonderful for these positions. And it could be even you. So please, ACPA is truly about boldly transforming higher education. So we want you to join us in that process on the governing board. Thank you.